Fortnite released its new summer event the other day and we have a lot to talk about. The Fortnite community loves seasonal events. I mean, why wouldn't they? Think of all the cool things we've gotten from the seasonal events, like, like the Storm King LTM, the Winterfest Cabin, Midas' Shadows, Sergeant Winter's Truck, rebuilding Tilted Towers, all things that have happened over the last few years in Fortnite seasonal events. But during these past few years, seasonal events have felt very different. Let's talk about Chapter 5 Summer Event. It kind of stinks. The map wasn't updated for the summer like every other chapter. Uh, there's no unvaults, no doubt because of the fact that they basically have to remake a gun if they want to add it into the loop hall due to the bullet drop feature and weapon mods. We didn't even get any key art for this event. Even last year had key art, but we did get challenges. And from what I can see, they are difficult challenges that are made to keep the player engaged for as long as possible without providing any actual substance or value, like play 25 matches of Battle Royale or damage a player from at least 45 meters away or um, win a match with a wasteland challenge. You know, easy stuff like that. I would also like to point out that challenges like that were used for the Rocket Racing Metallica event last month. Um, this does not set a good precedent of event challenges going forward, I'm not gonna lie. Suffice to say, the community does not like this event, and the hatred towards the event is completely Fortnite's fault. But not in the way that you might be thinking. Yes, the challenges stink and the map changes don't exist, but the content for this update is actually here. Clark Clint Gaming made a very good point in his video about the topic where he mentioned that if Reload was released at the same time as the summer event, the complaints about the event would have been halved. When Reload got announced, I actually thought it was going to be part of the summer event. It makes so much sense, couldn't they have waited a few weeks to push Reload out? In the broad perspective of Fortnite as a whole, this event could have been one of the biggest events in the history of Fortnite that brought the fan favourite Reload game mode into the game. It is such an obvious win, why didn't they do that? And why didn't they release the Magneto skin and powers like a week later? That could have been BR content for the event. If Fortnite managed their content release a little more effectively, a lot of the complaints about this summer event could have been thrown out the window. Yeah, but sure, we would still have stinky challenges, zero map changes, but some, some of the criticism could have been avoided. Now that we know why this event stinks, I would like to ask another question. Why are we surprised about this? Seasonal events have been getting less and less grand since the tail end of Chapter 2. Let's take Fort Nightmares for an example. The first Fort Nightmares ever had the pumpkin launcher and some decorations around the map. That was their first Fort Nightmares ever. This is fine. The next year we had the cube event where the zombies roam the map and everyone hated it, except me. I really liked it. And then we had a live event to cut it off and then a new POI. We had the Storm King boss fight LTM the following year, and then after that we had the Midas Shadows event, which were both amazing. Then we had Wrath of the Cube Queen, which brought pretty much all the content for Season 8, like the Convergence POI, the Sideways Scythe, the Caretaker mini boss fights. And then the following year, in Chapter 3, we had a slight revamp of an old POI, and we also had a Furry Mythic that was disabled after like 12 minutes because it was broken. And then what did we get in Chapter 4? Wasn't it like a new shotgun and a new Mythic? But there is a clear sign that after Chapter 2, Seasonal events were not getting as much attention as they used to. And Fort Nightmares is arguably the biggest seasonal event of the year. In comparison, the summer events are the smallest seasonal events unless you count the, the Easter one, which... Yeah, I don't think they're doing that anymore. If Fort Nightmares is scaling back in size, of course the summer events were going to be scaled back too. But why? Why are seasonal events getting scaled back? Well, there's no secret that Fortnite are building their metaverse with LEGO Fortnite, Fortnite Festival, Rocket Racing, and with more modes on the way. So the teams that would be working on these kind of things are working on something else, like a brand new LEGO Fortnite update. I guess Fortnite just don't see it as worth it to make a seasonal event with that much of a scale only for BR. It is really unfortunate that seasonal events seem to be getting shifted out for collab events, and I do think that it is ruining some of the originality of the game and taking away from community traditions and hype. I think people's reaction to the Winterfest Cabin returning in Chapter 4 says more than enough. People like these kinds of events, they are important to the community. And I'm sure many of us can deal with the fact that the summer events are being dialed back, but it's really this year's Fort Nightmares that people need to look out for. If that's anything like this year's summer event, then you can probably say goodbye to good seasonal events forever.